Yo, what's up, what's up, family? I hope everybody having a good day. Um, today's encouragement that I want to share is that, like, you ever had those moments when you just, you just think, like, you could literally be gone like that in the blink of an eye because when God calls your name, like you used to see in on movies where people get the last breath where they, uh, tell this person I love him still, but it's like, and it don't work like that. You know, like, you, you I don't, I, movies in real life are not the same thing so I, I just stopping and having that thought i just wanted to share that with somebody like if you haven't given your life to christ if you haven't said to yourself like you know what like i could be gone at any moment at any moment like right now we could just if god call and stop the whole world we all gone like you don't have the time that you think that you have we all think that we have the rest of the day um, the rest of the evening, we have next week, next month, next summer. We plan stuff out all the time. But at the end of the day, God can stop all that right now. If he wants to take our life and wants us to take us away from it, he could do that right now. So my encouragement is that you give your life to Christ. If you've been thinking about it and you've been going through so much in your life, it's like without God, you, you're not believing in God. You're not giving him your time. You might have had a foundation when you were a kid. Somebody might have hurt you in church. Whatever it may be, don't let those relationships ruin the one and, one and most important relationship that you need in life is your relationship with, with God. Your relationship with God is the most important thing. Going to church and all that stuff, that's religion. I'm talking about having a personal relationship with your Savior, which is Jesus Christ. Get a relationship with him. And from that point, he'll start directing your path for people who need to be in your life, you know, that, that won't hurt you, that will be a community that will support you on your spiritual journey. So that's my encouragement. If you know somebody that's out there right now who's battling, who's going back and forth of, you know, should I believe, should I give my life to Christ? Definitely do it. And when you give your life to Christ, repent. There's things that you've done in your past. There's things that you're going to do in your future. You have to repent. And when you repent, you have to turn away from that and go in the direction towards God. Um, and it's not it's, easy, it's easier said than done, but you can do it because once you give your life to Christ, you receive the spirit from God, the Holy Spirit, the spirit that's going to guide you, that's going to comfort you, that's going to tell you that feeling when you're in a situation like, should I do this? Should I not do this? It's going to let you know and be able to decipher good from evil. So that's my encouragement I want to share with you because even this moment, sometimes it could be like scary to think about, but not scared in the sense of, I know where I'm going, so I'm not worried about it. And you shouldn't be worried either if you believe, if you believe, if you believe and you repent and you know that God is who he says he is, that he's going to take care of you, that he has a place for us, then you're good. But it's just scary in the sense of knowing that you could be sitting here talking in one second, boom, and you're gone. You know what I mean? Like, like, and have you done the things that you need to do on life to show God um, value for what he has given you? Have you took the blessings? Have you took the favor and actually applied it to your life? Have you helped other people? Have you loved other people? That's the biggest thing, because when he talks about that in scripture, as far as the commandments, it's, 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 he boiled it down to two scriptures and it covers the whole law. So um, it says the first one is, to love God with all your my, heart, mind, and soul, and put no other God before me. And the second one is equally important, to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So love is the law. So are you showing love to yourself? Are you showing love to the people that surround you, your family, your community? That's how it starts. And when people see that you show love to everybody, regardless of what they look like, what their background is, don't judge them, but just show them love exactly where they are because that's what God is doing to us every single day. When we first started giving our life to Christ and we were doing all type of crazy stuff, even to right now when we still are sinners, God still loves us more and more every single day. So at the end of the day, that's exactly what we have to do in the world. We have to be able to love people. So that's my encouragement. Like I said, um, give, give your life to Christ, man. Stop waiting. Stop waiting, and I'll see y'all up there. Love is love. To God be the glory. Peace.